The Celtics just made the biggest mistake and they let the Dallas Mavericks take a game. You don't let the Mavericks take a game. If there's any team to blow a 0-3 lead, it's the Celtics this year. The Celtics are historic playoff chuckers, especially as of recent. And Jason Tatum's the man, but he's not going to play like it with Luka Doncic. He can't even guard Luka. Doncic absolutely cooked him every time Jason Tatum was guarding him. And Kyrie Irving, he's going off now, especially in front of that Boston crowd feeding off that energy. You can just imagine them taking both games five and seven. And you don't have to imagine for long because it's going to become a reality. The Dallas Mavericks are going to become the first team to ever come back from down 3-0. And doing that in the finals is crazy. It's going to be legendary and we're all here for it. We're just got to prepare. Get your popcorn, get your snacks. You know, you put those away because you thought the Celtics were going to sweep. But the Celtics, they took their foot off the gas. And of course, you could say they're resting and they're going to be back for game five and it's, they're going to win by 20 points. But what are the chances that the Celtics win by 20 points in game five? I'd rather take the Mavericks winning because the Mavericks are on a roll right now. The NBA is a game of momentum. It's not game by game, even though I truly believe that, you know, it's kind of the case sometimes. But in the finals, in the playoffs especially, it's all based on momentum. The Mavericks have momentum right now. The Celtics lost a little bit, and that little bit is all it takes for players to be cold. The Celtics players are shooting cold right now. They have been most games in this finals. Still have the Mavericks. They've been even colder, but they're starting to warm up, especially late in that game for Everyone was shooting great. Luka Doncic was playmaking as he should. PJ Washington, Derek Jones, they were hitting threes. Kyrie Irving was scoring really good as well. Daniel Gafford played good for the what, 10 minutes that he played. Derek Lively is doing awesome defensively too and offensively. And yeah, he doesn't have to do much in the box score, in the stats, but his impact on the game is more than stats could show anyways. So do I think the Celtics are just going to choke and that every player is going to play bad? Well, if you look at it, Jason Tatum, he might have a bad game. It's very possible that he can have three straight bad games. So can Jalen Brown. They've both shown that they can do that before, like in last year's playoffs or in past playoffs, that they're capable of having consecutive bad games. And Derek White is not someone who I would look to as a savior either. Even though last year he was in the Heat series, he was the reason why they came back and they forced a game seven. Derek White was carrying the Celtics for a little bit there. But this series uh, has proven that Derek White is no match for anyone really. And yeah, he's made some great defensive plays, you know, having a little bit of an impact there. But his offensive shooting, you know, his shooting and everything hasn't been there. Every time he gets the ball, he's looking to pass and he hasn't been cutting to the basket as he usually does. He used to be decent at driving. He'll get these layups. He has a pretty good post bag. Not necessarily like turnaround shots and fades, but going to the paint and then doing a little right hand layup, a little power dribble. But even earlier in the series, he got blocked from doing one. So Derek White is taking too long to do these plays. And so has Jason Tatum. They've been indecisive and they're trying to play it. You know, they're trying to be sadistic in a way and calculating their moves. But that's taking too long because like I said, it's a momentum based game. The Mavericks have the momentum right now and in the every little play, the Mavericks are going to tear apart the Celtics because the Celtics are taking too long. They're trying to calculate the moves and they're becoming predictable as a result. So the Mavericks are going to know what to expect while momentum is it's much harder to defend these lengthy plays that the Celtics are doing. So am I going to be surprised when the Mavericks become the first team to ever come back from 0-3 down 0-3? No. Is it going to be impressive? Of course. Of course it is. They're the first in history to do it. And the Mavericks, good for them. I've been uh, pretty critical of the Mavericks this season. But I've said a long time ago in the beginning of the year, their success depends on Kyrie Irving. And now that is evident more than ever. Go back and watch that video. Link in the description. 